Good morning. Today's devotion comes from Psalm 23, where it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Psalm 23 is a very personal psalm because there are no references to we or us or they but only my, me, I and you. The reason being this is David's testimony, his personal experience with God. The psalm covers all of life as it speaks of green pastures, still waters, as well as dark valleys and enemies and adversities. But what comforts us and helps us is the psalmist's confidence in God. David really believes what he writes about God. He has experienced God in these ways. David has heard God's voice. He has followed his lead. And he has felt God's care. A commentator has stated that beneath the beauty of David's words, there are solid convictions formed in the crucible of crisis. Now David tells us his confidence comes from three sources. First of all, he learned to stay in the presence of God. In verse 4, David says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. First, he speaks of God's nearness, his presence. When we step into a valley and it's so dark that we can't even see the path ahead, our shepherd has something he wants you to hear. I will be with you. There's even a verse in Hebrews 13, verses 5 and 6, which says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we also can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? There is no valley, no matter how dark, that we will go through alone. We won't because he will not leave us. Secondly, David saw God's power. A shepherd's rod was used to defend the flock against attacks. It pictures the shepherd's power overpowering his enemies. David said he had no fear in adversity because of the comfort of God's power, protecting him from that which would ruin him. And we also need not fear. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. As it is written in 1 John 4 verse 4. Thirdly, David experienced God's leading. Your staff comforts me, he said. He was referring to the shepherd's crook with with a hook on one end. A good shepherd would use it to guide the sheep lest they stray away. Just a gentle tap of the staff on a lamb's side would move them back in the fold, and the crook would gather up a sheep from a place where it might have fallen. David felt very comforted that his shepherd was guarding his steps, making sure that he makes it through the darkness safely. David was supremely confident not only about his present circumstances, but confident also about his 
future circumstances that would see him all the way home. He believed that valley times were appointed for his good. He learned things about God that could be learned in no other way in the deep ravines of life. He stayed close to God, trusted in God's protection and guidance all the way. That is why he could confidently say, The Lord is my shepherd. How about us? Can we confidently say, The Lord is my shepherd, in present circumstances and in the future? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that you are our shepherd, that you lead us, you guide us, you're with us. And Lord, I pray for your protection all around us. Bless us this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.